in lane number one. Second, the U.S. indoors. Strong finish in his semi-final to qualify. Nico Mochibon, the former European record holder from Germany. Marco Coors of Holland. He goes in lane number three. Very, very promising talent. Tupereitis of Latvia. 145.98 this season. Aida of Morocco. Every time I see him, he looks a lot better. <laughs> Yesterday, he had plenty left in qualifying. But he's going to need it with the man outside him running so well, Wilson Kipkita. The new world record holder indoors on the first day of these championships. An astonishing 143.96. He ran absolutely solo. That uh, has put $50,000 in the bank. If he wins this one, he gets another $50,000. Born in Kenya, but lived in Denmark, who he now runs for since 1990. Last season, he had 13 wins out of 30. Didn't run the Olympics, he wasn't qualified then for Denmark. But he beat the Atlanta winner, Rodal, 5-0 in the races in which they met. Kipkita, 24. Mochibon, 27, former modern pentathlon champion in Germany. Kipkita, trying to relax. The 800 meters World Championship final. He's on the first bend in lanes and then break. Keen has gone off very slowly and so too Aida. And coming right across from the outside, bouncing off this track, Wilson Kipkita, the red hot favorite. Cause one of the possible outside danger men, if there is a danger, in second place. Third is the Latvian, Tuperitis. Fourth place, Mochiban, and they're already strung out. 24.22 and 200 meters. Kipkita leads, Cause second. Tuperitis third, Mochibon four. Kina five. Aida has got off the pace entirely. Must have been bumped. Still the Keenish or Kenyan day, you know, I should say. Out in front. It goes through. Uh, oh, this is fast. Two laps in 50.22. He's on a world record pace again. This is unbelievable. He doesn't get paid for two world record results in one championship. He only gets one fee of 50,000. It's clearly not bothering him. He's going for it by the look of it. And the rest, well, I don't know where they are. They're in a different world. 200 meters to go. Aida's now gone second. Tuperaita's third. Cause of Holland taken completely by astonishment by Peter's run. Surely he's not going to do it again. 143.96 is world record time set two days ago. He's racing the clock and the crowd rise in admiration. He's done it again. He's done it again. Believe it or not. Aida in second place and the rest were spreading. Well, that was totally unbelievable. 142.68. I'm just checking for confirmation. He will not get an extra payment for breaking the world record twice. He deserves it, though, Lincoln. I think maybe someone didn't tell him that. <laughs> you know, I mean, what can you say about him? He ran it solo again. Uh, brilliant athlete, brilliant athlete indeed. I think someone should have told him. He was half a second up on his previous record at the halfway stage and uh, and he maintained it to uh, the 1,000 metres, uh, the 600 metres. It was absolutely brilliant. Well, the rest didn't know what it did. They didn't know what to do, whether to chase him. They'd assumed, like we all assumed, he wouldn't be going for a world record because he wouldn't get paid. But he's shown... A secret preparation, we're told, he's had in America has paid off. And this, by the way, is first appearance in competition this season, over these last three days. 142.67. That's... Oh. 
half a second plus off the other one. In fact, I'm just checking on it. It's over a second faster. Aida is in second place and uh, Kina, United States third. But uh, this is where uh, the run for home begins. He fairly bounces off the track, uh, Ledford. I remember when I first saw Sebastian Cobra at the world record and I thought that was brilliant and I saw Paul Oren do the same thing and we thought no one is ever going to do it and there is <laughs> he does it twice in one meet you know he's brilliant I mean he's so light he just bounces no tense nothing at all he's just flowing through I mean how, could, how do you beat a guy like this do you either go out if you go out in front of him he's going to overtake you and if you stay at the back you haven't got no chance <laughs> how do you do it well, he's got the second fastest time outdoors. Sebastian Coe's world record has set for a very, very long time indeed, considering the number of times per week almost 800 metres is run. Uh, but uh, Kipkita certainly got it in uh, sight. Second, I... Uh